Let's practice some tricky questions now. Here's the first question. What gets stored in the variable answer? Let's go step by step and solve it. First, check how many question marks are there. For every question mark, there should be a corresponding colon present. If not, code will not compile. We can see two pairs of question marks and colons. This means there are two conditions that are being checked. First condition says, if a less than 5 is true, then print hi. If not, execute everything that's written on right side of the first colon. Is a less than 5? a is 10. Hence, a less than 5 gives false. Hence, left side of the colon is ignored and right side will be checked. So, what do we have on right side of colon? It is not a simple value that we can store in variable answer. We have another condition specified using ternary operator. It says, check if b greater than 10. If yes, then store hello in answer, else store hey. In our case, b is 20. So, b greater than 10 will return true. Hence, right side of colon is ignored and left side is picked. So, the value stored in answer is hello. Next, x equals 10, y equals 20, z equals 30. And operation is performed between two conditions. What does this SOPLN print? Is x less than y? True or false? Is 10 less than 20? Yes. The first condition is thus true. Let's check the next condition. Is y greater than z? Is 20 greater than 30? Of course not. Hence, it will return false. Finally, AND operation is performed between these two conditions. So, what is true AND with false? If you remember the logical AND table, true AND with false will evaluate to false. So, the output is false. This is a trickier question. Let's solve it together. First condition is, is x less than y? x equals 10, y equals 20. Is 10 less than 20? Yes. It returns true. First part of SOPLN is, true and with something. Now let's check the next condition. Is plus plus y greater than z? Plus plus y is pre-increment, meaning, its value will be changed before it can be used in the condition. y is 20. So, plus plus y will happen first. New value of y is 21. Let's check the condition now. Is plus plus y greater than z? Is 21 greater than 30? Wrong. It returns false. So, we have true and with false. As per table of logical AND, true AND with false gives false. So, output is false, and x equals 10, y equals 21, z equals 30. Next question is this. How do we go about it? Firstly, note that, instead of logical AND operator, short circuit AND is used. First condition. Is x greater than y? Is 10 greater than 20? No. It returns false. So, SOPLN now looks like false and with something. We know from the table of logical AND and short circuit AND is that false and with anything is false, right? As per the table, irrespective of whether the second condition returns true or false, the final result will be false. How does this matter, you'd think? We know that, if the result of multiple conditions is evident by checking only few conditions, then short circuit AND does not evaluate the remaining conditions. It obviously skips them, whereas logical AND would check both the conditions. We have false AND AND with something. But false AND AND anything is false. 
It does not matter what that anything is. So, the short circuit and operator, used here, will not check the second condition. AND straight away returns false. AND value of Y remains unchanged. The pre-increment never happened because it was anyway pointless, because the result was already predetermined by short circuit AND. Next. Can you guess the output? First condition is X less than Y. Is 10 less than 20? Yes, it will return true. So, SOPLN should look like true short circuit OR with something. If you remember the logical OR table, OR evaluates to true if any one of the conditions is true. We already know the result here. Irrespective of whether the second condition returns true or false, the final result will be true. Just like short circuit AND operator, the short circuit OR does not evaluate remaining conditions if the result is evident by checking few conditions. It will not evaluate the second condition thus, because the second condition doesn't matter. Whether it's true or false, the answer is true. So, second condition is ignored. And the output of SOPLN is true. And X equals 10, Z equals 30. As the second condition was never executed, Y remains the same. Y equals 20. Next. The question is same as the last one, but instead of short circuit, we use logical OR. Is X less than Y? Yes. We get true. SOPLN will look like true or with something. We know that true or with anything is always true. So, ideally, execution should have finished here itself. But, because we used logical OR operator, the second condition will also be evaluated even though it's pointless. First, plus plus Y is executed before checking condition because it is pre-increment. Y equals 21 now. Is plus plus Y less than Z? Is 21 less than 30? Yes. So, we get true. SOPLN will thus look like true logical or with true. The answer is true. We already knew the output was true, but because we used logical or, the second condition was checked in spite of knowing the result. Final values are x equals 20, y equals 21, z equals 30. This was same as previous question. The only difference is we used logical or. So, because the second condition was executed, value of y has changed. Final value of y is 21 in this question, but in the previous one, y remained 20. This is to show that there's a difference between using logical OR and short circuit OR, okay? Let's solve this one. First, is x less than y? Yes, we get true. SOPLN looks like true or with something, which means the output will be true because true or with anything is true. But, next condition will be checked because again, we used logical or. Is y plus plus greater than z? Let's check y plus plus. y plus plus means post increment, so its value is first consumed and then incremented. Current value of y is 20. It will be used in the condition. Is 20 greater than 30? No. So, we get false. SOPLN now looks like true or with false. Now that value of y has been consumed, y will be incremented, because it is post-increment. So, y equals 21 now. Finally, Java will evaluate the SOPLN statement, so true or with false. Answer is true. And final values are x equals 10, y equals 21, z equals 30. Last question. It uses not operator and x or operator. First condition. Is x less than y? Yes. So that gives true. NOT operation is performed on this. NOT simply inverts the value. So, NOT of TRUE is false. The first condition is hence false. 
SOPLN will look like false XOR with something. Next, plus plus Y. It is pre-increment, so value of Y will first be changed. Hence, new value of Y is now 21. Now, let's check the second condition. Is 21 greater than 30? False. SOPLN becomes false X or with false. Let's check X or table to find out the answer. So, from the table, false X or with false gives false. Hence, the answer is false. And final values are shown on the screen. That's the end of this video. Feel free to watch it again if you need to, and only then proceed. Thank you.